We'll now introduce the stability of fixed points. When we have an autonomous differential equation and we have a fixed point, there are basically four different possibilities. We could create a chart that looks like this. Or like that. Or like that. Or like that. And then there are some other fringe cases where like you could have a whole line segment that consists entirely of fixed points. But these are the major things that you can see. The derivative is positive to the left and negative to the right. Negative to the left, positive to the right positive to the left, positive to the right, negative to the left, negative to the right. If a fixed point looks like this, if the derivative is positive to the left of it and negative to the right of it, it's called asymptotically stable. Otherwise, it's unstable. But two of these unstable cases get their own name. These last two cases are called semi-stable. This terminology could be misleading though. This makes it sound like you've got asymptotic stability and you've got instability, and then between those you have semi-stability. That's not the case. Semi-stable fixed points are unstable. They're just a special case of unstable fixed point. So let's now go back to an example we looked at in a previous video. Here we had two fixed points and we can now classify them. Negative two is asymptotically stable. Positive one is unstable. I suppose I should at least mention stability. If for no other reason than to make it clear that you really do need to say asymptotically stable, if that's what you mean. An asymptotically stable fixed point has the property that if you leave the fixed point, you then come back to it. You get knocked off the fixed point and you follow the arrow back to it. If a fixed point is just stable, if we don't have this word asymptotically in front of it, that means that when you leave the fixed 
next point. Jewish day near the fixed point. But you don't necessarily return to it. And you don't really see stability without asymptotic stability in the case that we're looking at, which is why I presented it last and kind of as an afterthought, where you really see just stability, not asymptotic stability, is when you're looking at motion in the plane. And maybe, for example, the origin is a fixed point. And as time passes, trajectories orbit the origin. So if you get knocked off the fixed point, you then stay near the fixed point forever, but you don't converge back to it. This would be this is the main example of stability. And since at the moment we are looking at the number line, not the Cartesian plane, it doesn't really show up. We just see these cases. Asymptotic stability is what you usually need for a fixed point to show up in real life. And again, this is going back to the idea that you might not have randomness in your differential equation. But basically any real world situation is going to have elements of randomness. With an asymptotically stable fixed point, if some random perturbation knocks you off of it, you go back to it. Here, once a random perturbation has knocked you off the fixed point, you go away from it. Here, it depends on the direction. If you get knocked off the fixed point in this direction, you go away from it. If you get knocked off the fixed point in this direction, you come back to it. Similarly here, you get knocked off in this direction, you come back to it, you get knocked off in this direction, you go away from it. That's where semi-stable comes from. Semi means half. These are kind of half of an asymptotically stable fixed point. They're asymptotically stable if you get knocked off in the right direction. Otherwise, they're unstable. So these are our main stability types. And then we'll add stability when we start looking at stuff in the plane. These definitions are obviously stated a little informally. You can make them formal using epsilons and deltas and talk about them very formally. But for the purposes of this class, this is what you need to know, along with this intuition.